Okay, with us now we've got Dan Gabrielson, who is the physiotherapist at Southport Football Club. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your role, Dan, what you actually do at the club? Yeah, my role at the club is to manage any injuries in the squad, um, to complete the rehab, and basically to provide as many players available to Liam as I can. Um, obviously I do a lot of the, the rehab with the lads, maintaining the fitness whilst they're injured. Um, and on match days I'm, I'm there uh, pitch side if anyone gets injured. Um, I do a lot of the strappings before the game um, and if any lads are injured on the, on the day of the game they do a bit of rehab there on match days on the pitch. Good. Okay, obviously we don't like to see you come onto the pitch on a match day because it means we're, we're having a yeah. struggling time. Uh, obviously we're here at training today and you've been seem to be treating quite a few players and Dean Winard's uh, yeah. seems to be coming on quite nicely. D Dean's been out since January the 19th was, uh, with a grade 2 MCL, so medial ligament strain in his, uh, his right knee. Um, Has that been hard to, train, uh, to treat? Yeah, I mean initially he was in a brace for six weeks, which for quite a nasty grade 2 is, is like a, a standard yeah. protocol. Um, so this is his ninth week of, of rehab now and he's done very well, he's, he's back training today, non-contact um, with a view to, to phasing him back into training over the next 10 days, mm -hmm. um, but he's done very well. Um, Jack Sampson has been with me today, he, he's got grade grade 1 hamstring injury um, from last Saturday, um, but he, he's doing well, yeah. you know, probably looking at another Ten to two, ten days to two weeks. Yeah, we've had we've had quite a busy time while we're in other with the physio this season, haven't you? You seem to have had quite a few to treat. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've had a, we've had a couple of long term ones. Yeah. Obviously, Andy Parry, we've done a bit on Andy Parry. Good to see him back playing yeah. now. Hopefully, uh, without any problems. Um, with an injury like Andy's, do you have a set program that you work to? Or not, not really. I mean, you, you, you'll always treat what you find. You know, uh, yeah. unfortunately, Andy had had a lot of. You know, he's had an ACL reconstruction, hadn't got back from that, and then he did his meniscus, got, got an infection in that, you know, and, and then, long story short, when he came here, he had a massive quads deficit in his right quad, he had a 35% deficit, so if you haven't got that strength in it, you're going to pull other things, and that's what he was doing, unfortunately. Yeah. Now, hopefully, that's, that's sorted, and he's not had any problems since then. So, which, which, which one's been the most difficult for you to treat this season? Um, Andy Parry was a, was a tough one, yeah. but I knew what had to be done. It's just it, it's, it's it's having the time to do it. You know, I, I knew from day one that was going to be a three to six month job just to yeah. strengthen them up. You can't you can't strengthen someone up in a week or two. Mm -hmm. It's physically impossible. So I knew that was going to be a long term project, and, and he's still on, you know he's still doing rehab once a week. His strength work. Um, Dean Winard's quite quite a challenging one. You know. He, he was convinced that he'd done something more sinister than that. He thought he'd done his crew shooting. Yeah. But, you know, and, and trying to get the mental side of it and reassure the lads is quite challenging. Um, you know, if they might be physically ready to return, but if they're not psychologically ready, then forget it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, a bit about you. What did you do before South Football Club? Have you always been a football physio? No, I've not. Well, I qualified 12 years ago. Uh, went to Salford University. I did my degree through the PFA because um, I used to play myself. Um, so the PFA pay, pay for your degree. So I did a three-year degree at Salford. When I qualified, I went and worked in the NHS, which I think uh, any student physio asks me is, is the best way yeah, for me to do it. Yeah, you, you, mm. you're learning off, off senior physios and, and, and you, you're in amongst the team of physios and lower limb specialists, shoulder specialists, and, and you're always learning. You get mentoring every week. So for me, that's the best way to learn. Mm. So I did that for, for six years, and then I went and worked for a private clinic. Um, for the past six years and I did two days um, NHS work as well so I kept in with that but I have worked you know when I first qualified I, did, I worked for Drawsden in, in the conference for two years I've worked with various footballers throughout my time I've, I've worked with all sorts of athletes boxers cricketers yeah. golfers tennis players rowers from Team GB we've worked with all sorts of sports um, and you played yourself have you yeah, I played. I did my YTS at Everton and then I had a year at Wigan um, and then I, I played non-league for Marine mostly. Right. Um, yeah, I had a few injuries myself, broke both my <laughs> legs, you know, done, done a lot like so. Yeah. I know a bit, a bit about rehab. Um, yeah, I broke my leg when I was at Everton and that's probably how I first started getting interested in, in physio when I was 17. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's a good uh, career for people to go into, do you think? Is it something you'd encourage people it, into? It, it is, but you know, I mean, I, I had a, a, a girl come to me yesterday who was interested in, in starting physio, but, and, and people just think it's sport. It's not. It's a, it's a wide ranging uh, profession. You know, you've got the neuro side of it, so all your brain injuries and Parkinson's and neurological problems. You've got your respiratory side of it, um, and then you've got your musculoskeletal side of it. Yeah. You know, there's orthopedics, there's elderly, there's, there's it, it's very wide range, and it's not just about sport. Yeah. You know, and if you go into it with that just sport, then you're going to be in for a bit of a shock. Um, so that's what I worked at for, for, for basically the past ten years. I've worked in at MSK outpatient, so it's musculoskeletal injuries. That's what I went into. Yeah. Um, Brilliant, okay. Well, we just hope we don't see you on Saturday. Well, yeah, I'll be there, but hopefully sitting in the dugout out the way, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks, Dan.